Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, got a little game of Search and Destroy on Quarry, and I have not uploaded a Search and Destroy game, so you get to see a little bit different playstyle for me, a little bit more um, concentrated playstyle. Uh, but, anyways, I'm using the Intervention with FMJ, the Magnum with FMJ, a Throwing Knife, Stun Grenades, Sliding Hand Pro, Sidebar Pro, Ninja Pro, and Copycat. Now, I never use Painkiller, just throwing that out there, because if something pisses me off, I'm not going to use it. Um, but anyways, uh, there's a few things that I want to talk about in this video. One of them being hard scoping versus quick scoping. So basically, in this match, I kind of showcase both of them. Uh, I hard scope whenever I have to, and I quick scope whenever I have to. I never just go into a match and try and you know quick scope my ass off unless I'm you know just being, mainly going for clips. If I'm trying to get a good game, you know I'm gonna hard scope whenever I have to, quick scope whenever I have to, and that's the mentality that a good sniper has to have to uh, to achieve in this game. If you go around just trying to quick scope all the time, you're good. You know you're just gonna get shit on, and that's the that's the reality. So this guy is camping up here, and I go grizz daddy on him. Um, <laughs> I you know that. Right there, hard scope probably would have been more effective, but it was kind of just a reaction shot, and I hit it, so whatever. Um, but anyways, YouTube has kind of ruined things for people who play the game regularly, um, especially on Xbox. Like on PS3, if you hard scope, nobody's gonna give you shit. Nobody is uh, because not a lot of people watch YouTube videos on uh, who play PS3. That's just kind of strange. I don't know why, but I think it's mainly because all the big players are on. Uh, are on Xbox and uh, there's older people on PS3 and you know older people aren't really gonna want to watch YouTube videos because I don't know why would they um, but anyways so YouTube has kind of given out these unwritten rules that somehow everybody has to play by um, and I think that that's just an, an incredibly wrong approach to playing this game I mean you paid 60 bucks to buy this game we should be able to play it however the hell you want uh, it really doesn't matter how you play it, as long as you don't noob tube or uh, commando knife, because those are the two things that are incredibly wrong with this game and and are you know being extremely exploited right now. Uh, so right now, hold on, let me let me switch to uh, to the gameplay. Um, it's one v three, I believe. I think it's one v three. Um, so right here, you know, I see this guy. I'm obviously gonna hard scope. I'm not gonna go for the quick scope, but right here, I uh, I know that this guy is coming up because I threw some stuns at him earlier. And saw that he was coming up, so get the quick scope right there. And I make a really, really bad mental decision right here. One, I call on my UAV, which I could have saved for the next round, uh, because this guy was right here. And then I go and I fail right here. You wonder what I should have done? Should have pulled out my Magnum, or I should have ran up behind him and knifed him. But no, I tried to be Grizz, uh, which I'm not, obviously, and uh, and try and get the cool game-winning kill cam. But uh, you really need to put your ego aside whenever you're playing games like Search and Destroy, because I lost that round for my teammates and. Uh, and it was a round that really shouldn't have been lost. So, uh, right here, this is the round where I believe I get three consecutive hard scopes because these guys just go in and stand in the middle. Um, and, you know, I don't care. If, it's, if the hard scope is there, I'm going to take a shot. I don't really care. Uh, so, this guy is the last guy alive. I didn't even know it. You'll see him in a second. Hold on. Uh, I go for the cheeky throwing knife kill, but don't get it. But there he is. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I don't really know why. Sometimes it doesn't tell you uh, who the last person alive is. It kind of pisses me off, but that's whatever. Um, so one another thing that I really want to talk about today is why I joined YouTube. Besides, you know, all the other reasons that I've already told you. Um, one of the big reasons why I joined YouTube is because I, you know, I was having trouble in uh, in you know public lobbies playing basically by myself sometimes, and I really just wanted people to play with on a regular basis who had basically the same skill sets as me. And, um, you know, that really has helped me because if you play with people who are either better than you or have the same skill sets as you, you get better as a player as well. Um, right here I go for a bunch of hard scopes. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, if you play with people who are better than you or if you play with people who are, as, who are on the same skill level as you, you will, you know, just pub stomp like a mo. Um, <laughs> uh, in a second you will see me get clearly outplayed by this guy. Just wait and watch this guy's shot. It was insane. You know, this guy's got a marathon sniper. I don't know how the hell he hit this shot. Look at that. Through that barrel, through that little concrete wall thing. I don't know how the hell he did it. Oh, and uh, if you guys know how to fast forward through uh, clips like this, uh, whenever I die, I would really enjoy if you would tell me that because I am clueless on how to do that. I have zero editing skills besides my render settings. I mean, I pride myself on my render settings, but... 
Uh, that's basically the only thing that I know how to do. So if you know how to slow down the video or speed it up, uh, please tell me. Because that would be very, uh, very much useful in, uh, very much useful. That didn't make any sense, but anyways, that would be very useful in, in games like Search and Destroy whenever I die. So you guys don't have to sit through, uh, my deaths. But, uh, I probably won't be uploading a bunch of games where I die a lot, uh, <laughs> obviously, um. So I have my Predator Missile, I'm gonna call this in, and I, and I get two people. And I'm glad that there's a, a, a delay, no scope, uh, delay, uh, that you can call in your air support, because that would just be, uh, utter humiliation if, uh, if you could just call in your, uh, your air support right whenever the round started. Like in Demolition, that's, that's messed up, but you can respawn in Demolition, so that's what changes it up. Uh, the host migration, uh, I bet you was the guy who had no scoped. He probably got pretty pissed off and left, but, um, <laughs> I would too. I mean, I wasn't even rocking steady him. I think I got more no scopes last night than I did anything else. It was insane. Um, and you know, I never rock steady him. I don't really know why. I mean, I don't really look down upon anybody who uses steady him. Again, play the game how you want. But, uh, that's another thing that, you know, people on YouTube kind of look down on. They look down on people who use steady aim, and I mean, it's not a giant thing to me. I mean, okay, so your bolts go a little bit straighter. Uh, you know, it's nothing that's gonna, it's nothing game-breaking. It's nothing that I'm gonna, you know, go cry over. Um, right here I get killed because I make the bad call of taking out my secondary in the middle of, uh, well, not in the middle, but out in the open. Uh, I should have gone and taken some cover and then pull out my secondary. And I probably would have killed that guy because he would have ran straight ahead of me because uh, I think he was going for the... Well, yeah, I think he might have been going around the other way to go get the B-bomb plant. Uh, so I would have got him if that was the case. But uh, obviously, I made the bad judgment call. Um, so, <laughs> I hate whenever this connection interrupted thing happens. It really uh, really ticks me off because uh, whenever I'm having a good game like this, I really just want it to go the full way and I really don't want it to, uh, to end due to a host migration. You know, that's happened a couple times before. Um, one of the things that's uh, another thing that I was trying to do today but just was so unsuccessful at it, and I don't know what I need to do. Uh, I was trying to do a lot, uh, some live commentaries today because um, nobody was home in my house, and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna try and do a live commentary. And uh, you know, I I did it about ten times, and I got this really really good game. It was like 59 and four, right? You know, I had my commentary ready for it. I was doing good. Um, and then after the after the game ended, I looked on my. Uh, you know, to, to go and stop recording on my uh, my PBR and, and Total Media Extreme. And what do you know, I did not press the record button. And oh my god, look at that commando lunch without commando. Thank you, Infinity Ward. Um, but yeah, so uh, I, I did not click record and I felt like a complete dumbass after that. Um, so, you know, I was not, not very happy about that at all. But uh, you know, what can you do? And uh, the other games that I tried to do a live commentary in... I just completely failed. I was either getting noob tube 24/7, or you know, just running into all this bullshit stuff, and I was yelling my ass off. You know, I wish I would have saved some of the commentaries and you know, just used it as a rage video because they were uh, <laughs> they were pretty funny. I mean, I I get pretty pissed off whenever I play this game, and I know that I shouldn't, but it's just the fact that this game does not rely on skill anymore. It relies on who has the better connection, and uh, just. I don't know. It just—it's not the same thing anymore. It's—it just—it caters to uh, to the nubs, as uh, as many would say. <laughs> um, right here, I make—I don't know how I get out of this. There's three guys surrounding me. Um, I make a really really smart decision of of waiting right there, then going and pistol whipping this guy, and I get him right as he's changing his weapon. And what do you know? He's got a noob tube on. So uh, I decided that I'm gonna strap this thing on and go get that guy. Um, but right now, it's me and my—it's me and my teammate left and. We are trying to find this guy. Uh, I, I cannot find him. I mean, our UAV was up for a couple seconds. I see that he's running down there, or I thought that he was running down there. And now that I was listening to the video, I, I mean, I just watched this a couple minutes ago, I heard him, and he ran right in front of me uh, like two seconds after I turned around. And uh, because you will see in a second where he goes to plant. And um, so I made a bad judgment call right there. So. Right now, I'm just, I'm really nervous. I, want, I get nervous when I play Search and Destroy. I get scared. It's like I'm watching a scary movie. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of looking around. I'm being kind of cautious because, you know, I want to get a cool kill cam. Um, and I know if I don't, my friends are going to make fun of me and say that, you know, I have a small wiener and, and whatnot. But uh, I get a random invite from somebody right there. It's probably a 10th Prestige lobby invite. And <laughs> uh, just to touch on that, I am 10th Prestige on, on Xbox because... I switched from the PS3 over to the Xbox. You know, I have both consoles, and uh, once you put so much work into one console, you really just don't want to do it again. 
So I did take the easy way out, but uh, you know, I got it for free. I wouldn't pay for something like that. That's that's not me. It's kind of a stupid idea too. I mean, wasting you know twenty bucks on getting tenth prestige whenever you could probably you know uh, find somebody to do it for free. And you know, if you want all your stuff, just uh, stay at level seventy and, and work your way up. So um, right there, I pull off uh, <laughs> a little hard scope because that guy was completely uh, mentally deficient, and um, I jump over his claymore somehow. And I was not a douchebag this game, and, and you know, try to get the bomb plan off at 6.5 seconds. I uh, I just went for it, and then did a nice little 360. So, anyways, that's the end of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was trying to work a lot of my commentary, um, and try to stay away from the ums and the random pauses. So I hope that I succeeded in that. Uh, final score again is 16 and three. Thanks, guys. Peace.